Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the highway map, and it's uh, Chinsi Huang Bu Bu in the T44. Um, other one is otherwise known as Das Moshi. Anyways, um, this is a tier eight premium tank. Uh, no, it's not. Let's start again. Alright, it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this battle's on the highway map and it's uh, Chensi Huang Bu Bu in the T44. Now, if you're not familiar with that, what well, you should be, it's the uh, tier 8 uh, Soviet medium tank that leads to the T54 um, and then to the Object 140 and what used to be the T20, uh, T62. In any case, um, medium tanks on this map typically go to the um, edge of the map here uh, to battle with the other medium tanks and just use their vision and mobility so let's see how well we play here so T92 has been spotted by the um, light tanks or the LC who's gone down to the earlier the middle of the map almost so that's been pretty handy to get that spots and that T92 has been taken down to pretty low health, so it can be handy. Speculative blind shot there, uh, but um, we spotted a T69 there, just looking for the gap through that building, pretty fine there. Uh, one of the advantages of this particular position is um, yeah, you are, as on the edge of the map, the tank destroyers on the six line can't really get access to you. Well, Clearly there's a tank down there that can, so there must be a T-44 down in the middle um, because otherwise this area is uh, basically out of draw range from the other side of the map. And that T-69 has yeah, just moved again. Good chance to get another shot of damage in there, but he's taking more damage anyway. And there's the T-92. Uh, snaps a shot there, takes some damage from the T-92, but um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's got another targets there. That, CS53. So it is an all tier 8 game, which is good. And getting some damage here. Managed to get another shot in on the T92. So the T92 is a one shot. Is he going to hang around? Yeah, it looks like he is there, but um, anyway, they're basically keeping these medium tanks busy and at bay. So pushing up too far would have gotten trouble, lack of support, and I you know, just missed getting a kill shot on that CS-53. Gun handling obviously not uh, playing out to his favour exactly. Chance to get another shot in there, and he gets the kill that time. So gets rid of that CS-53, but the um, Enemy T44 is down there somewhere, hasn't been spotted yet. In fact, it's one of the few tanks that hasn't been spotted, if not the only one. Now he's got the T69 there. Just pulls back at the point of firing. That might have just been a bit too quick on the draw there. And uh, yeah, the shot just went a bit wide. But he can pretty much afford to push in on this T69 here. It is an auto loader, but as long as he can. Um, keep out of the uh, the gun and particularly take advantage of him while he's reloading you should be able to dominate this particular tank particularly if there's no other support so it's definitely a risk worth taking right now and it gets proxy spotted as he comes around and doesn't drive straight around so that's pretty interesting technique there just uh, avoiding that now the t69 has turned around but um, 
This gun is not actually facing towards him, at least he wasn't. Now he's got perfect access to the side of him. And that T69 really can't do anything more. Gets another nice hit in, takes him down to one shot. And he can take a hit now if he needs to, but doesn't even get the chance, so it goes to the T69. So it takes Genshui up to 1.2k. I'm just waiting to go dark, and also the ELC has gone out in front, so hopefully spotting anything that would be useful. Oh, and there's that T44 was there in the middle. So Chensui gets a nice shot in on the T44, and he's not spotted yet. Certainly not by that T44. And he goes down. And now they found Anudu's up on the hill as well. Gets another shot in. So now the shots are landing, which is good. So this gun is obviously trolling a bit sometimes. And that Udu's just coming down chasing the ELC. He managed to get rid of him, but now he's tracked out in the middle. And one more shot. And there he goes. So, seeing a bit of packet loss here in the game, I think. Um, but uh, nonetheless, that's not stopping change fee. 2.4k of damage now. And he gets spotted as he comes here, but he's basically coming in close to the cliffs. That will stop people shooting down on him, if there is anyone there. And he's getting support from some other tanks, or at least one other tank, so knowing there's some TDs up here, he'll just poke up gradually and try and get some vision. Well, they must have retreated, they're not here in these bushes, you might have expected them to be. But the good news is they're probably on the move, which means they're probably not set up with their binox and camouflage nets, so maybe he gets a chance to, to deal with them that way. Well, okay, he's been hit by the strip, so uh, they've found the Striv, and this Striv is just in panic mode, he has had to go out of um, out of his siege mode, and although he put a shot of damage in, he gets dealt with severely by Chen Sui. So, moving on now, he's almost out of his standard rounds. And he's got four kills and nearly 2.8k of damage. But uh, the rest of the battle is in the city. And this should be some opportunities also potentially to get some flanking shots. And catching tanks unaware that are facing the other direction. So it could be some rich pickings here. And he spotted a defender. Puts a nice shot and he gets spotted at the same time. Okay, that was the other tank destroyer. That's the SU-101 there. So he needs to just be careful not to advance too far forward. And that SU-101's been taken down. And, and they set the defender on fire. And that defender's still burning. But uh, he doesn't wait for him to burn to death. He takes him out completely. Now he can go for this um, SU. No, he doesn't need to. He's taken out by the Renegade, but now he's got a Tiger 1. Does a quick snapshot there. That doesn't go through, just needs to aim in here and he gets another kill, which he does. So that's his top gun, six kills to Chenchui. And now he's got the rear of this T105, TNH 105, I should say. And there's only two tanks left. Can he get any more damage? He's on 4.3k now, it's really damage is racking up. And been at relatively little cost in terms of sacrificing hit points and now we've got tanks really facing the other way gets the kill on the IS-3 that's seven kills potentially up for a Radley Walters here but everyone's going after this ML-1 is he going to get a chance to get in there he's just holding his shot I think he's going for the metal oh no too late <laughs> doesn't get it that's unfortunate Nonetheless, great game there for Chen Sui. Let's go and have a look at the detail. So an uh, Ace Tanker Mastery Badge there. Uh, high caliber award and a Top Gun, of course, with, that we saw. 4.8k of damage and 733 of assisted damage. Uh, so over 5k of combined damage, but uh, yeah, nearly all damage that uh, Chen Sui did. And a lot of tanks damaged there as well. So it really went through the other team. Um, finished well on top in terms of experience. 16 
10 base experience, excellent result there. Um, and the next best tank there, 990. So almost half of the um, total that Chensui did in terms of experience and a lot less damage as well. So on the other team, yeah, mostly underperforming there. None of them made um, anywhere near 2k of damage. So that was a bit of a walkover. Um, but anyway, great game there from Chensui pulling that side of the map together. So 31 shots fired, 25 of those hit. We saw a bit of inaccuracy in the gun there. Uh, 21 of the hits penetrated. Some of those were pretty angled shots, so no great surprise there. Um, used mostly standard ammunition, so the ammo costs actually were pretty reasonable, but spent a little bit on premium consumables as well. So in the end, only made a very small amount of profit, but this is a tech tree tank, not a premium one. And uh, making any profit at all at tier eight, um, yeah, is pretty useful. So great game there. Uh, if you like the content, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. We'll have more great content like this for you through the week and thanks for watching.